everybody and welcome back to another video. So, um, I was actually going to record this video yesterday, but I'm really glad that I didn't because, um, I think it released today, but, you know, I checked this morning, uh, just on the marketplace, looking in my library, seeing if any add-ons needed updated, and this one got an update, and it actually, uh, fixed, like, my main, like, uh, originally I was, like, going to say, do not download this um, add-on, but with the update they released, it fixed like the main reason I was saying that, and I'll get to, into that more a bit later. But um, so I want to get to real quick. Um, this will only take a few seconds. That oh yeah, it, it spawns this book uh, when you log in. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I am in style. Uh, remove guide. Um, because the last Minecraft update was, a, you know, wasn't updating on Windows, like, nearly as, like, it took, like, multiple hours. Like, it wasn't until, like, 9pm that I could get it updated. I thought, I originally thought that it was, like, a problem on my end, so I just, like, hey, ask Google why uh, it wasn't updating, and it's like, oh! And, like, the, the official thing on Microsoft was just like, oh! Uninstall Minecraft and reinstall it. It didn't tell me that it would delete all my worlds on installing it. So, uh, I've had to download another backup, so... Yeah, things are going to be a bit different, but I am going to have, like, a little, like... Uh, every add-on I do a review on, uh... Will, in this world, will be represented. So, like, here we've got the little, uh, desk here for the PC add-on, and... Yeah, uh, I've not got all of them represented right now. Um... But uh, everything will, like, be represented, like, they'll have, like, a little area or something, uh, or they'll have, like, an item in my inventory that I'll be using, um, or something, um, but yeah, uh, and I think it'll look really cool when we just have, like, a bunch of stuff from all, like, the different add-ons I've done reviews on. Oh wait, how am I in creative? I was just in survival. Oh wait, I need to go back into creative. Wait, when did that happen? I, what? I'm confused. I actually put myself in creative without realising it. I have no idea. Anyway. Um, so yeah, let's get into this uh, review. So, we've got the spawn the grappling hook guide. Hello. Oh, yeah, I need to punch you, not to right click. I'm used to just right clicking them. Welcome to the grappling hook guide. Uh, guide that add 12 grappling hooks uh, to uh, create each one, uh, granting a different uh, ability is that you can use them uh, to uh, scale mountains, cross ravines, and even make farming easier. There are also six mobs in your world that use grappling hooks. Three are friendly, three are hostile. To craft your first grappling hook, you will need one iron, one string, a tripwire hook, and two redstone. So iron, string, tripwire hook, redstone. Iron, string, tripwire hook, redstone. Iron, string, tripwire hook, and redstone. Iron, string, tripwire hook, and redstone. So. Iron. String. String. Tripwire hook. That's an iron and get a stick and a wooden block. A stick. And a wooden block. Any old wood will do. That's a trip fire hook, a redstone, and it was something else, was it? Hold on. A punch, no, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, two, no, just two redstone. Uh, there you go, got a weapon hook. Not really pulling me in. 
Uh, what does the book have to say? Make sure you use a crafting table. No. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything about it. Oh, here we go. To fire the grappling hook, you hit the use control while holding it. Once the hook lands, you sneak to pull yourself towards the hook. You can hit the use control again to release the hook. You can use the basic hook to craft the other 11 types of hook. So you right click to shoot it. Shift to wee. Wee. Uh, yeah. Ah, I fell. And you could probably craft a second one and do some really cool tricks with these. Uh, I'm probably not going to craft a bunch of these. Uh, well, I'll probably just like, give myself. Well, it says uh, how many? Craft the other eleven. So I'm just going to give myself eleven. So get well ten. Give at p. Right. Raffling hook, tang. Hold on. Yep. And then. Yep. Ah, no, it doesn't work. As soon as you switch off it, it goes away. Oh, that's disappointing. Anyway. Now we can craft one of each hook. The diamond hook allows you to extend the rope by uh, sneaking uh, while looking away from the hook. This is useful for descending off cliffs or into caves. To craft it, you'll need the basic grappling hook and a diamond. One diamond. Can I craft it? Yes, I can. So, sneak. Whoop. And then sneak. Whoop. Hey! And then you can go down without... What? Okay, this is a little bit... Uh, glitchy. So it's basically the base grappling hook, but better. Uh, the instant hook will uh, thrust you forward as soon as it land locks on a block. Don't worry about uh, taking uh, fall damage. You have temporary vulnerability to fall damage. To craft it, you'll need the basic grappling hook and an iron ingot. Iron ingot. I should put this trip right over in there. Boom. E. Ah, multi hook also uses that, I guess. Wee! Uh, yeah, it just launches you full force straight at a wall. Uh, I keep right clicking. Uh, hold on. Uh, diamond hook, insta hook, mob hook. Collects who pulls mob towards yourself. Very useful for getting the sheep back into the pen. To craft it, you need a basic grappling hook and a lead. Do I have a lead in here? Yes, I do. Mob hook. Let's go find a mob to use this on. I don't think it'll work on the mimics. Let's test it on the mimic. Hello? Nope, doesn't work on the mimic. Stab. Nope, well, he's gone down there. What about you, Wandering Trader? Will it work? Yeah, it works on the Wandering Trader. Yeah, and it does what it says on the tin, it pulls them towards you. Not super useful, in my opinion, but still. If there's probably somebody out there that can probably come up with a use for it.
Right, punch. Next page. Diamond. Uh, here we go. The mining hook will uh, mine several blocks around uh, where it uh, locks uh, and uh, slightly thrust you towards. This is useful for mining lots of blocks very quickly. To craft it, you will need the basic grappling hook and a diamond pickaxe. Ooh, this one's a little bit more expensive. One, two, three. And to you. Uh, I need to make the pickaxe. And then we make the mining hook. Right, let's go down into my mines and let, uh, see what this is about. Slowly falling. Right. Um. Boom. Ah. So it's not like the well. It's a bit like the multi-block pickaxe, but it's a bit different. That uh, um, where instead of aiming for the center block, you want to aim for the top block. Thing. Ah, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit difficult to get it just right because uh, it like dips. But I think you should actually yes, aiming for center, aiming for the center is doing fine right now. Yeah, well, you can see where I'm aiming. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think it's as fast as the uh, multi block pickaxes. The multi block pickaxe has had its speed increased. Yeah, the multi block pickaxe is faster, but this requires three diamond pickaxes, where this only where it the oh, where this only requires one diamond pickaxe, so we have a trade off. If you think the multi block pickaxe is, too, is a bit OP, but still more like a 3x3 digging area, this is definitely a happy, uh, more like a medium kind of thing where it's not super strong, but not too weak either. Because it's definitely. I would say it's definitely worth crafting if you only have enough for, uh, diamonds for one of these. For one diamond pickaxe. Uh, and you don't, and I did to, you know, but I would uh, preferably use the multi block pickaxe. The explosive hook will cause an explosion where it locks on and it is slightly thrust you to forward. You will need one gunpowder for every explosion. Careful though, don't blow yourself up. To craft it, you'll need it the basic weapon hook, uh, redstone, and TNT. So I already have 15 on me. Uh, redstone and TNT and I'm just going to take a bunch of gunpowder from here. Five sand blocks. Uh, sand has its own chest. Yeah, right there. Is it? Yeah, no, it's five gunpowder, four sand, isn't it? Yeah, five gunpowder, four sand. Yep. And then we've got the explosive hook. Uh, I'm going to go really far away to do this. Sleeping dragon. Uh, and so I'm going to make my tunnel. I don't know it's just a block that an enemy probably placed. Also, a quick side note: I was uh, playing like modded survival, and I found a mimic in the, the mush mushroom farm. I was like, "Why are they spawning in the mushroom biome?" Anyway, I click. 
Yeah, pulls you towards it slightly and makes a big kaboom. Um, now, uh, I'll talk more about this when, uh, when we get to the, uh, more, the, uh, like, villager guys that can spawn. But one of them could spawn with this. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, again, I'll talk about that more later, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm taking a bit of damage from this. I mean, if you need to destroy something, this is fairly efficient, but... You, like, it's basically a bit better than a bit of TNT. And it only requires one gunpowder after crafting it, so... Yeah. If you want to blow stuff up, this is a good um, way of doing it, but other than that, it's not really useful. Oh, wait. Uh, I've got this. Yeah, well, what? No, you could. Anyway. Yeah. It's just like everything has to have like something that blows something up, I suppose. Every other one does. Uh, diggy, the exploding one. There we go. The farming hook will automatically harvest mature crops directly into your inventory and even replant them. To craft it, you'll need the basic grappling hook and an iron hoe. It's actually quite cheap. Boom. And craft it up. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Farming hook. Now I've got some props outside. I can test this on. <coughs> so I have had a little bit of experience with this. So it uh, does it in like so one, two. So uh, yeah, so right click here. It does it in a one, two, three, four, five in a five by five area. And as you saw, it went directly into my inventory. And this is probably one of the, like, I would recommend downloading this just for this hook. Like, it just makes farming so much easier. And it also, like, uh, works if you've, like, got... Uh, so here I've just got like of like wheat, potatoes and carrots, but if you've got like uh, all of them in like rows, so that's like wheat on one row, carrots and then potatoes and like beetroot, it they it plants them correctly, uh, uh, all of them correctly as well. Uh, hold on, this guy's annoying me. Yes, hostile guy, I kill you. Yeah. Ah, he's being teleported by my armor. That's one thing I don't like about this armor is that it teleports them. But yeah, they also drop their uh, hook trucks that they have, but we'll talk more about them later. Uh, right now, I want to see what happens if I have like a full inventory and I try to harvest. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, come on! Like, come here. You. Annoying. Right, one, two, three, one, two, three. No potatoes in my inventory, and there's no potatoes on the ground. So do be careful of that, because if you have a full inventory, they will just wipe them out. So they, like, they just don't, they just stop existing. Uh, and the, the, I don't like that. What I would do is I would change it so that they would, like, drop at your feet when you harvest them, so that you're not to accident. Uh, so that you're not accidentally just like un just snapping half of your crops out of existence when you've got a full inventory. Uh, that really should be changed, but uh, it's not a big deal. You just gotta keep an eye on the inventory and make sure that you don't, um, 
you know. Over harvest. <laughs> Next up is uh, the uh, fishing hook. Cast the fishing hook into water and after some time it will reel in a fish for you. To craft it you'll need a basic grappling hook and a fishing rod. So that's three sticks. One, two, three, and two string. I think string has a sound chest over here. Yes, it does indeed. One, two. Ah, I forgot I had a, so much good. Anyway, um. Oh yeah, the hike is one thing. And there's not really a good only I well I guess I have a, like a little infinite water source over here, I think. So. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh, there let's go to a natural pop of uh water source, hold on. Uh that there. That's a, Boom, boom. And now, boom. <laughs> Lie on over. All right. And then we cast in. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Uh, oh, it does it automatically, okay. Yeah, I got a wall card. Neat. Uh, so yeah, that's that, I guess. Not much to say about it, really. It does what it does. Right. Um... Is makes I don't know if any of these can be enchanted, and I don't know if it's just like as the same rate as a regular fishing rod without like say look at this sea or uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh, there's, there's look at this sea that to increase treasure odds like enchanted books and the, the stuff like that. But what's the other one? Law, yeah, law, law. Uh, increase the uh, chances of catching a fish instead of uh, rubbish. Lily! <laughs> Lily! Uh, next up, the uh, block hook allows you to place a block from a distance. Put the block you want to place in the hot bar slot, the uh, slot to the uh, right of the block hook. And it will place it where the hook lands. To craft it, you'll need a basic grappling hook and a brick block. Uh, oh. Eh. Yeah. Oh. No, that's not good. Yeah. I think someone's trying to attack me through a wall. Block hook. <laughs> yeah, let's get some. Blocks. Uh, no, yeah, we'll do. So if I just right click, yep, it places the block where it lands. How far away? Ah, uh, not that far. Lily, stop it! And now I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs> Oi, come on, up hops. Come on. There you go. Oi, stop grizzling. Stop the grizzle grizzling. Stop it. Right. Oh, 
Oi. Yeah, it plays as blocks. Not much to say about it. I guess it could be useful if you in like certain situations, but not really something I would uh, carry around with me all the time. Um, the bridge hook will build a bridge from your feet to wherever you hit. To craft it, you'll need the basic grappling hook and oak planks. Oh, so then we'll have, this one has to be specifically oak planks. Rachel. So let's say I wanted a bridge from my balcony to down there. Ah! Neat. Does that stay around forever or does it disappear after a bit? Oh, you can break it. Yeah, I say it would probably stay there forever. Yeah, this is pretty useful. If you don't, if you just need, need like a quick bridge to get to somewhere and you don't care how ugly it looks. Like, oh, I want to get to, up to like this bit of the mountain to like lay up or whatever. A bit. I can just like, yeah, grappling hook. Ah, oh, that was too far. There we go. I mean, the bridge is a bit skinny. Yeah, that is diagonal. What about if I just shoot it straight forward? You can't really shoot it straight forward very easily, but it's, yeah, it's a bit skinny. I may be making it like two blocks thick would be a good idea. Like three would definitely be, be better. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the dragon's fallen on the ground and they're suffocating in the floor. Right. On to the next one then. All right, punch. The multi hook is like the diamond hook, except that you can use it up to th use up to three hooks at the same time. Look towards the hooks to hit, and the, the hits the use uh, control to retract it. To craft it, you'll need three of the basic grappling hooks and an iron ingot. So let's just get two more of these and an iron ingot. So look towards it and shift to go up, down to go down. And you can like play another one over there. And you can shift to go to it, close to it. And do I just if I look at that one and right click, yeah, that one comes back and that one stays. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'd probably craft this over the uh over the diamond hook. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and if I just take it off I'm not bad, they both go away. Yeah, that's pretty good. And last but not least, punch. Oh, oh, previous, previous. The floating hook will uh, lock in midair and the floating place, allowing you to swing through the skies. You can use it to descend, They're just like a diamond hook. To craft it, you'll need the basic graphic hook, an emerald, and a feather. Okay, valuables and emerald. And feathers. Feather. Floating hook. Uh, let me just eat some golden apples because I'm a bit hungry. Oh. So we shoot it into the sky. And we. Yeah, I can. 
Hold on, let's try again. Ooh! Yeah! Oh! 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 What's going on? Ah! Whee! Whoa! 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 Okay. It's a bit buggy if you do it twice in a row. Ow. Okay. Yeah, be careful with this, because you might get to uh, just don't use it two times in a row because it tends to, because it looks like it breaks when you do that. Alright, and now on to the uh, mobs. There's the farmer. Use the uh, farming. Uh, the farmer uses the farming hook, and will harvest nearby carrots, potatoes, pumpkins, melons, beetroots, and the cocoa beans. He will collect the items into his inventory, which he can access by clicking on him. There will uh, be a carrot and a potato in his inventory when he spawns. So I think I could just summon him. Probably. And show him off real quick. Someone um, um. Oh. Uh, I think the carrot and potato we were supposed to pick up when uh well because he spawned on top of me. Yeah. Yeah he harvests harvests the stuff using uh, his uh having hook. Um, and you can just right click him and you can take what he harvests. So yeah, if you see one of these guys, you can either kill him for the hook, but again, uh, we saw earlier that it just requires an iron how to craft that with the regular grappling hook, so it's not super expensive at all. Uh, also, something I forgot about that is that it doesn't hoe the land, which I think would be really nice if it could hoe the land as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend getting a couple of these guys and just having them farm for you. So like trap them in like a big farm and just like have them do all the farming for you. Punch. Yeah, bear. Also this was added in the update. Uh, being able to enable and disable the mob mobs one. Then there's the angler. He uses a fishing hook and will search for nearby water to fish at. He will collect the fish into his inventory, which he can access by clicking him. So let's go some. Actually, I should keep the with me then. I don't have to keep coming up and down. Move guide. Itchy news. I said it was called the angler, wasn't he? Angler. Here's the angler. He doesn't start off with anything in, in his inventory, and like I said, uh, if you kill him, you'll get the uh, hook off him. Uh, but two by one. Ah, he spawned. <coughs> Die. Hey, that's good. At least he doesn't grief anymore. They used to grief. <laughs> so now onto the two hostile mobs. First up, we hold on. We have. Oh no, we've also got the miner. I've got that. The miner uses the mining hook and the dwells on the ground mining for ores. He will collect the items into his inventory, which he can access by right clicking him. Let me just go down into the mines and we'll, I'll go summon him so I can show off what he does. Yeah. 
Ah. There we go. Here we go. Right. Let's go over here and get this dude summoned in. As you see, he mines. And you can see he's got the ore on my torch in there. I would actually recommend disabling this guy because he doesn't seem to have any real um, method to mining. He just shoots wherever. How, did, how he didn't get the deep sleep redstone right there, I do not know. Um, so yeah, I would probably recommend disabling him because he's just going to make a mess out of your mining, mine systems. And he's a bit annoying. <laughs> well, thankfully, because he only spawns underground, he's not going to be mining up your base anytime soon. So yeah, it's up to you whether you keep him enabled or not. In my opinion, yeah, I would just disable him. Next, we have the Wrangler. He uses the mob hook uh, and it is hostile. He will attack uh, players and the, the villagers by pulling them near his hook. Damn you! Well, yeah, you, we've already seen these two guys. Um, yeah, uh, as you've seen, uh, I would, we've already seen both of them. You've seen the guy that pulls you in, and you've seen the... Oh, uh, you haven't seen him, but you've seen him. And you've seen him. Yeah, detonator, explosion of hook, hostile, will tag players and villagers by blowing up them up with his hook. This mob is very dangerous. Now... Before the update, he used to, you know, grief, he used to destroy stuff. And uh, uh, when I was going to make this video, I was going to say, and this guy is the reason why I would never recommend you uh, uh, to add this. But now that you can just like disable him and he doesn't uh, destroy anything, yeah, I feel uh, safe in saying, yeah, you can add this and, you know, disable him if you don't want him on. I would probably recommend just like disabling these three guys because uh, they spawn. Right, in this short video, you've already seen multiple of the other two. Uh, this is the Leaper, he uses uh, the Insta Hook, and it is hostile. He will attack players and villagers by leaping towards them with his hook. So let's spawn in the Leaper so I can show him off. Leaper. Anyway. Yeah, you saw him. Yeah, if I want you just like disable him, I would. So, yeah. And that is everything this island has to show. And yeah, uh, grappling hooks is like one of the most requested features uh, there is. Hold on, I'm going to kill him because he's annoying me. Uh, there is. So. Uh, if you're one of the people who want uh, grappling hooks, then this is the add-on for you. Uh, only recommendations I would make is to disable the hostiles and the, the uh, miner guy, because the miner guy makes a mess of your mines and the hostiles just spawn an, an annoying amount. Like, at least like when the mimics spawn, they're not like it, uh, instantly going after you and you can just like deal them with them in your own time. Those two, and they also, and those two also attack villagers. So if they spawn near your trading hall, they can do some damage. So yeah, would not recommend having them enabled, really. But it's up to you whether or not you want them enabled. Uh, there's a bit of wheat there that you can harvest, dude. Oh, he's noticed it. No, 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 no. What? Why? Yeah. 
Uh, if I had to make any suggestions for the salon, I would make it so that the AI on the farmer, miner, the farmer and the miner was a bit better, like, so, like the farmer would purposely go after crops that are fully grown, um, and do that the miner would have like a specific, like try to like mine on like a specific level. So like, oh, say he spawned like uh, Y negative fifty eight, he would then like, uh, you know, wanna he would like m uh, try to keep on that level rather than just like mine them randomly. Uh, and if he sees all, he would mine them. And like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not. A mod maker, and I don't know. I don't know. It's like how well the limitations are for this. But yeah, uh, other than that, yeah, pretty good. I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, if you want grappling hooks. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that, and all that fun stuff. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.